It was supposed to be a joyous occasion, but a toddler's birthday party quickly turned into tragedy when gunfire erupted in Rexdale last night among those injured children. Our Malia Sheikh joins us live tonight from the scene of the with growing outrage and the calls for swift justice. Maliha. Melissa, a Rexdale community is feeling fearful, shock, and disgust following a brazen shooting at a one-year-old's birthday party last night. Three children and one adult were injured. Neighbors say it could have happened to any one of their kids and that the suspects need to pay for what they did. You know, just lying on the, on the, um, the ground, you know, like basically lifeless. She, I don't think she knew what really happened. It's just like she was in shock. Emmeline Redhead attended the party last night with her son. Everybody was screaming. Everybody was running. She held one of the victim's hands, a five-year-old girl who was shot while they waited for an ambulance. TT, you okay? Um, you going to be okay? We're just waiting for the ambulance. Just stay awake, okay? Police were called to a building on Tan Ridge Crescent near Bing Avenue just after 8 p.m. yesterday following reports of gunshots. There was a uh, birthday party going on for a, a one-year-old child and uh, a number of shooters came forward and started uh, firing into the group of people that were there. There was an 11-year-old boy that was struck in the buttocks. There was a, a five-year-old girl that was struck and a one-year-old was grazed by a bullet and then a 23-year-old adult was, was shot. Police say they don't believe the children were the target. The one-year-old who was grazed by a bullet was treated on scene. The 11-year-old is expected to make a full recovery. Police don't have an update on the 23-year-old man who suffered a gunshot wound to the leg. The five-year-old girl, referred to as TT in the community, is in stable condition. Family friends say the mother is thankful for the community's prayers as her daughter remains in hospital. We're just praying, hoping everything works out for her, for the best for her. These kids are going to remember this. It's, it's, a, it's summertime. These kids are supposed to be eating ice cream, playing games. This, the settings, it was a bouncy castle. You, come on now, this is, it, it, it's, it's, I'm lost for words. I've been a uh, police officer for a number of years and this is one of the most disturbing scenes when you see young people like this indiscriminately shot. It's, it's disgusting. The mayor and premier share the same sentiments, releasing statements earlier today. Mayor John Tory tweets, this is a shocking and outrageous act of gun violence that comes amid the work Toronto police and the city have been doing that has led to a decline in shootings over the last year. Premier Ford writes, no one who engages in this kind of heinous gun violence should get away unpunished. The perpetrators must be found and brought to justice. Police say multiple investigators are taking a look at a number of leads as the search for suspects continues. There is uh, uh, video uh, cameras that are placed all around and they were working. That's all I'll say about that. The community is on edge. Parents, keep your kids close. And when you pray for your children, pray for other people's children too because this is not right. Police say at this time they won't be releasing the description of the vehicle or the suspects involved, but add they do have the resources to solve this case. Anyone with any information is being asked to contact Toronto Police or Crime Stoppers.